Hello my dear friends, welcome to Rashmi's illustration and today I'm going to customizing a tote bag. Uh, well I have a two tote bags so I'm going to uh, make a separate video for each bag. So this is the uh, episode one and uh, if I mean I don't know you guys were playing it but uh, when I was a kid I used to play this tic-tac-toe I don't know when I was in the school I used to play this game a lot so I wanted that but I like the print of that uh, game so I thought why not give it a try to make uh, that same illustration on my dot back so uh, hope you will like this video so now I'm just starting the painting here we go so this is my tote bag it's a cotton bag and i washed it before i start my painting so it's a it's an optional step if you wanted to wash it or not and i'm going to use a fabricrol acrylic paints masking tape and a paintbrush well i'm going to use the two types of masking tape i'll show you in the process so uh, i'm just starting it with a basic shape I'm going to make a big box and then I'm going to divide it with the masking tape. Uh, this process is a very fun and it's very 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 easy. Uh, big masking tape I'm going to use it to cover the whole box in the corner and uh, the small tape uh, with the help of small tape I'm going to make the small line in between uh, as you can see the black lines. So hope you will understand what I'm doing in the video. Let's start the painting now. You can use any color whatever you want. I am using yellow color or very lightish yellow. I like more pastel color so and uh, uh, same thing I'm using here uh, the same technique which I have used in my previous video and I have created this small uh, cut layers of the sponge sheet or you can use your tape to make the round shape uh, but but for this cross I have used the foam sheet and I cut the shape and I twist it then paint it and once your paint is dry completely then you're going to remove the tape uh, the small tape you have to remove so really fun to remove the tape i love i i don't know why just i love this feel when you remove the tape and you get this clean and nice edge so now i'm going to use the masking tape again to make the straight line of the black color while i'm using the cutter to cut the small section of uh, in between the tape but it's optional if you want you can just remove it otherwise uh, you will get the small section that you have to paint later so it's always better to cut everything uh, the small small section but but if you don't have any cutter because that cutter was a very sharp one but if you don't have then you can just uh, use a regular small uh, knife small knife i don't know what what we what should i say okay you got it once you're done with the painting, you have to remove the excess tape. Then your bag is ready to use. Just let it dry completely and you can use it. Well, bye for now. Uh, I'll see you in the second episode of Toad Bags. Well, that will be very creative, not just like that. So stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video. So bye-bye. Oh, and if you're going to make the bag, please tag me on Instagram. Yeah, bye.